Hello everyone, it's Joel Davis with United Medical Transportation Providers Group and you are the broker.com helping you to build a highly effective and highly profitable broker business. I have the sneaky suspicion this might be a lengthy video. So I definitely encourage you to watch the entire thing. I'm actually going to be sharing three uh, great and very interesting emails. I'm going to be talking about those emails and responding. Um, there's going to be a lot of golden nuggets. I'm actually going to substantiate um, some of my response and input with actual evidence. So I encourage you to watch this entire video. Um, if you have to break it up in segments, do it. But again, it's all worth the golden nuggets. So, the first email I'm going to provide is actually um, kind of, um, it was part of a long chain that uh, was between Amelia. And for those of you who don't know Amelia, she's one of my personal assistants. She works with me in my broker business and also helps us with youarethebroker.com. Anyway, she was corresponding back and forth with a client provider who's now becoming a broker, but he's doing very well with his NEMT business. So kind of what I'm about to read to you is actually... Uh, parts from an entire thread or long correspondence. So I told Amelia to just email me what I need to see. Um, so let me start by diving in. Um, this one, this again, this is from the client provider to Amelia. I don't know if it's all in the same email, if it's a few, but some of the the meat and the bone that I wanted to share with you guys because it has some golden nuggets you could take away in your NEMT business. He writes. Our NEMT business is doing well. I saw it earlier in one of Joel's videos that people are reducing their prices because of COVID-19. We increased our prices and are getting it. We revamped how we do everything. Clean the vans every day, then they are spotless and people are paying for it. We had our second highest monthly volume last month. We had a fluke month in June of 2018, $55,000 and had major difficulties so couldn't get much more than 40,000 average. We upgraded vehicles, streamlined some processes, and in January and February were on the rise in the mid 40s. Then COVID-19 hit. Three low months while dialysis kept us afloat. Uh, then March. March, $50,000. And EMT is going well at the moment, and we have some money we want to invest, so it's time for the next move, and everything we've been checking out, we are thinking you are the broker.com should be the one. Love it. The transportation department uh, at the VA hospital in our area doesn't do contracts. They use the best performing provider for a few years now. We have been their preferred provider. They use two other providers uh, other than their own vans, which are driven by volunteers. Usually, usually for trips we turn down due to a full schedule. It's a good problem to have. April 8th, we outlined our COVID uh, response along with a price increase. Doubled our trip charges and a 25 cent mile increase. Lived off of dialysis until second half of May when things started to pick back up. June was great. They know we have the cleanest vans possible, wear protective gear and measures. We have just started to get bariatric stretchers, stretcher trips from the VA they used to use an ambulance for. I'm sorry I'm rambling on. I'm proud of what we've done. Just so you know, I bought Joel's NEMT book, DVD training, and dispatching ebook in the first half of 2015. Our first trip was January 28th, 2016. Joel's training is how we got started. I know for a fact that if we follow as close as possible Joel's guidance in our broker business, we will be successful. The money is just sitting in the bank, ready to be invested. What else do you need from us other than money to move forward? We want to hit the ground running. Absolutely love this email. Um, very proud and excited and, and happy for you guys. That's phenomenal. I love the fact that you guys went against the grain, you swam upstream, while here it is, 
And this is some of the golden nuggets, the meat that I want all of you to pay attention to, where you had Medicaid brokers who play you all like pawns, where you had Medicaid brokers when COVID-19 initially hit, when they were suggesting initially that, well, you may need to take a pay cut. We're all going to suffer through this together. We're all, you may need to take a pay cut. Here it is, these guys who don't even waste their time with that nickel and dime nonsense. What are they doing? Going after private pay, VA work, but they're increasing their rates and they're getting it. And I love how they've positioned themselves. Uh, I know many of you who we've um, done websites for and everything that Tom and the team, they put on those the COVID emails and notifications. Those are things you want to exploit because this is exactly what they're doing here. That's phenomenal. It's great. So they've really positioned themselves. I love how they've positioned, they've already been in the market. They're already in existence. But to a degree, they've kind of rebranded and repositioned themselves basically out of, through no fault of their own. COVID-19 hits, no one sees it, no one knows it's coming, don't know anything about it. But their response to it is to reposition themselves. And in so doing, they raise their, their rates and they're crushing it. Absolutely love it. Um, I love the fact that you're going for you are the broker. That's awesome. If you you guys are in this great position, it, I totally agree with you. It's time for you now to start making real money and diversify. So excellent, excellent email. I love the creativity. I love the consistency. I love the persistence in what you're doing. And I definitely look forward to working with you guys with uh, you are the broker. Next email. This is this email. The next two emails are for people who just recently signed up for our one-on-one -on -one coaching. So that's great. Looking forward to working with you. This first one. Uh, he writes, Joel. It's an honor and a pleasure. Uh, I've been watching your videos going back to last year, and and am excited to get started working with you. The reason for this message now is because I've been offered zero percent on some new Ford Transit vehicles. I remember hearing in some of your videos that you only purchased new vehicles when they were 0%. Is now the time for me to do the same? Just give me the word and I'll pull the trigger and have the vehicles ready for when we get started. Thanks and looking forward to start working with you. All right, man, you're using my words and my scenarios against me. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. The only time that I personally in my MMT business that I the only time I ever purchased uh, brand new vehicles is when they were at 0%. It's common sense, 0%. You're not paying interest. Um, this is a great question. This is a great question, and parts of it will actually segue into the next email I'm going to share with you. But i got to be honest with you. I would not purchase a new vehicle right now because you're just starting out. You're new. You, have, you don't even have a business. You have no contract. There is nothing telling you, nothing. Numbers matter. Make your decisions on the margin. I love the fact that it's 0%. I personally, I personally just purchased, as in like I'm picking up later today, a brand new uh, Ford truck. Uh, so I just purchased it. Why? Because the dealership contacted me. They want to purchase a used truck that I bought last year because they had a backlog when, when Ford and uh, the manufacturers were no longer... Um, when they suspended making um, vehicles in favor of uh, the medical equipment to, in response to COVID-19, now they have a backlog and they're in search of used vehicles. They contacted me and gave me a great deal. Not only are they giving me 0% and a rebate and a great trade-in for my used vehicle, under those circumstances, it's perfect for me to get a vehicle. And when I buy a vehicle, I always pay cash and pay outright, but why would I do that right now? When it's 0%, I'd rather leave my money in the bank and deploy it, have it making money for me, which I'll show you in a minute. But I just bought a vehicle at 0%. It's phenomenal. Take advantage of it. That's great. But not you. Why not you? You're new. You're just starting out. You do not spend $45,000 on a brand new Ford Transit or $50,000 or $40,000, whatever the numbers is. You don't mention what the price is. I don't know. I don't care. But realistically, you're just starting out. You have nothing telling you to go get a new vehicle. Nothing. Now, you're going to start a new business. Is there a degree of chance or risk? Of course there is with any business. So are we going to take a leap of faith, a chance, and go out there and purchase a vehicle to start your business? Absolutely. But there are so many good, used, quality, 
ADA compliant, fully equipped, full size van, exactly what we want, that are on the cheap right now. Trust me, every single day I'm looking at vehicles for client providers who I'm working with. There are deals all over the place. Why? Because through this pandemic, so many businesses went out of business because they, they were over leveraged. They purchased vehicles and assets and had loan repayments and everything for vehicles that were sitting idle. The businesses went belly up. They were overextended, highly leveraged. That is not how you want to start your business. I don't know what your financials are yet. I haven't seen your any P&Ls or your financial statements, so I don't know what your net worth is, but I don't care if you're worth millions of dollars, you have nothing telling you to go out and purchase new vehicles. Now, I absolutely love and applaud your enthusiasm and willingness to go out there and do it. I, as I always say, I'd rather have to pull back the reins on somebody than poke and prod to get them to move forward. So I love your willingness to do it. All I'm saying is hold your water for a little bit longer. We're obviously gonna be working together very soon. I'm gonna get you in the right vehicles, I promise you. I, I guarantee for what you would pay for a brand new Ford right now, even at 0%, I guarantee you I could find you two quality good used vehicles are exactly what you're gonna want. Um, but even then, even then, we're not even gonna spend that much money. So remember, when you work with me, everything is about controlling the capital investment, controlling the cash flow. You wanna make money? Control the capital investment, control the cash flow, make your decisions on the margin. So, to answer your great question, do not go out and purchase a new vehicle right now regardless of what the interest rates are, but even though they're at zero right now, don't do it. Yes, did I do that back in the day? I did back in the day, but guess what? I was also, I also had some big contracts and we were blowing up and it was time to recapitalize vehicles, existing vehicles in my fleet, yada, yada, yada. I had every reason to do it. You have nothing telling you right now to do it. But again, love the question. I love the sentiment and, and appreciate your, um, you understanding the value in, in, in getting this right now at zero percent you got to ask yourself why are the markets why are the interest rates right now at zero percent why are the markets doing so well and yet the whole economy isn't even operating at full capacity well that's a story for a different day actually we'll kind of touch on that a little bit later but let's go to the next video or i'm sorry the next email this one is someone who also just signed up for one-on-one -on -one coaching, so that's great. Looking forward to working with you. It reads, Joel, let me start by thanking you for the work you do. I really appreciate your content and can honestly say I have learned a great deal. I will even go so far as to say that your liability video, I'll put a link on that uh, to make sure you guys see that. For those, a lot of great feedback on that liability vi video, so if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you do. Um, I really appreciate your content and can honestly say I've learned a great deal. I will even go so far as to say that your liability vi video was a real breakthrough for me because it really made me realize how far behind the eight ball I really am. Not that I didn't appreciate and find value in all your other videos and newsletters, but this video in, partic in particular really resonated with me and made me realize it's time for me to move forward. I started my business two years ago and I know I am not uh, nowhere close to where I need to be or should be. Knowing that I could either keep doing the same thing and getting the same results or I can transition and move in a better direction, I knew I had to go out on faith and sign up for your one-on-one -on -one coaching program. I look forward to working with you, but I do have a question if you don't mind. I know that I have a great deal of opportunity here in, I'm not gonna mention his location, but I honestly feel overwhelmed with so much to do. So much that I feel kind of confused and paralyzed on where to start to further improve and grow my business. I guess my question is, how do you personally get so much done and I can, and how can I gain the same type of clarity so I can be equally as effective, have multiple businesses, and be able to structure my business like you did in your liability video to grow and fund your honeypot. Forgive me in advance for my rather amb ambiguous question. I guess I'm just, I feel a bit overwhelmed and I am very excited, but I am very excited to start work with you soon. Thank you. 
This actually is a great question. Um, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Shardy in, uh, at our Orlando event because he asked a very similar question um, of how is it that I'm able to get everything done, do everything I do and the success I do and working with everybody in the NEMT industry, manage my own broker business. Um, we're doing well, operate in five states, work with you, other broker.com licensees, things like that. And it's actually, there's a number of reasons, a number of variables why. Number one, uh, as I mentioned this to Shardy, because Shardy is engaged, about to get married, I told him, I have a great wife. I have a great wife that is a great support system and she gives me freedom and flexibility to do what I need to do to, to operate at the best I can operate at. Um, she's busy herself. She's a doctor. She understands busyness. She understands that I'm busy and I got to do things and when I got to do something, I got to do it and she doesn't care. She just knows that the fat man gets the job done. Um, another important thing, there's a number of things that I'll share with you. The other important uh, thing is uh, time management. I know that sounds overly simplistic and everyone talks about that, but it's really where are your priorities? Now, as I explained to Shardy in Orlando, I work 24 seven. I mean, other than when I sleep for a few hours, I always work, but for me, it's not work. For me, it's what I enjoy. It's part of my passion. Uh, it's not like, see, the problem is most people associate work with that nine to five, with that going out there and literally digging that dish to them. That's work. To me, yeah, that's work, that's hard work. I work smart, I work very smart. I maximize my time when I'm on the road, I'm constantly on the phone, uh, calling, whether it's calling contractors, prospects, people I'm working with, strategic partners, things of that nature. I mean, I maximize my time and as I explained to Charity, I don't golf and I get it. There's nothing wrong with golf, go golf, enjoy yourself. That's cool, go golf, go skiing. I don't golf. That's not my passion. I got nothing for it. I don't ski. The only sports that I do is during Army football season, I go to Army football games. That's it. That's it. I haven't watched the NFL in uh, like five years, and people think that's because I'm not down with all the knee benders, and I could care less about the knee benders. I stopped watching the NFL because once they started to wussify the rules and regulations, and I could no longer watch it because it's too wussified for me. But that's a topic for another day. Um, but I don't waste my time with that. The, I lit, I, for example, I was at uh, a colleague's house recently and ESPN was on and I saw these commentators bantering back and forth about this athlete and that athlete and the sports this and sports that. I thought to myself, my God, what a flipping waste of time. What a waste of time. You guys are bantering over the quality of this athlete over here. And I don't even remember who it was because I only paid attention for about five seconds, but I could never do that. If you ask me who plays on the New York Giants, who plays in Buffalo, I don't know, because I don't care. It means nothing to me. It doesn't, doesn't impact my business. Now, there's nothing wrong with those of you watching this. You have a passion. You follow your local team and your, your sports team, and that's cool. That's great, whatever. But if that's your passion, you're going to pursue your passion. If, that's, if your eyes are on that prize, that's where you're going to go. That's not me. My DNA is, Joel Davis' DNA is, I need to be productive, and I enjoy being productive. There's people out there, 100%, who should never, don't even, you know, it's like your kids, don't go near the stove, you're gonna get burned because it's hot. There are people who should never go near the entrepreneur uh, stove because they're gonna get burned. There's people who are just not made for that. You need that nine to five job. You need that structure, go in, punch the time clock, do your thing. I could never do that. I'm not wired like that. I would go insane. So I need to, go out there into the open waters, go out to the open seas, and create my own destiny, bottom line. Other people, they need to be told what to do, that's the best way they operate. I can't do that, that's not me. Um, so in, in answering your question, a couple things. Again, I married a great woman who understands Joel Davis, who understands me and what I need to do, and she loves it and appreciates it. So having a great uh, spouse that helps support you, that's critical, number one. Number two, uh, a high degree of just understanding yourself, self-evaluation, knowing who you are, what you need to be successful, how you need to operate, uh, managing your time as in structuring your lifestyle around knowing, having that self-awareness into who you are. Again, if, if you have no idea how many emails we get and correspondence, and everyone's gonna tell you, oh, I really want this, oh, I'm really gonna do that. 
but your actions are not in alignment with, with what you're saying. There is a fragmentation and disassociation between what you say and what you do. That's why I don't care. It's what you, what, what's that saying? Uh, what you do speak so loudly I cannot hear what you say. So true. People will waste my time. That's why so many people will email us. Joel, if I could just have five minutes of your time. Joel, can I get a quick, uh, quick call? No, you can't. No, you can't because guess what? People waste my time. People are going to waste your time. You as a business owner, get used to it. People are going to try to pull on your time. Your time is exceptionally valuable. You've got to create those boundaries. So for all of you who just, e we'll get people who will email us and say, well, I'd love to do one-on-one, -on -one, but if I can't get a call from Joel, to a preliminary call from Joel, then we can't move forward. Guess what? We're never going to work together, and that's okay. That's okay. And you as a business owner, you have to do the same thing. Now, I understand that anyone out there, um, any social media expert or guru, they're going to tell you, no, you got to respond to everything. No, you don't. And in a minute, I'm going to show you why. But no, you don't. Because if you do, you're going to go insane. You got to protect this house. The house being, again, I tell everybody, I'm a biblical capitalist. You got to protect the house. You got to protect your, uh, your relationship, your marriage with your wife, your husband. You got to protect your kids, which means you got to protect your, your time. Uh, you got to protect your business interests. The business funds everything. So those boundaries are critical. So I have a great degree. I have a good supporting cast and having a great wife that helps support uh, what I do and how I do it. Completely understands my demands. Um, I have great self-awareness. I know who I am. I know how I operate. I know what I'm good at. And I need you to do the same thing. So we haven't started work yet together, but I can clearly tell that you're frustrated. You may be older than me. You may, may be younger. I don't know. Um, I will know soon because we're going to be working together. But I need you to have a self-awareness. And it sounds like you're really trying to work through that and figure out um, who and what you are and in what direction you're going to go. I mean, you've been in business for two years, but I'm sure as I dig into your business, we're going to see ways to that we need to improve and enhance your business for sure. Um, but I actually, you know, you you mentioned you have an ambiguous question, but I can actually see where you're trying to go with this. You're striving for a much bigger vision, and I love it. That's why so many people, when they contact us and Joel, I just, I want to be the best driver I could be. And I tell them, I've mentioned this in other videos, you've seen this, just go drive for Uber and Lyft. Joel, I just, I want to be the best medical transportation company I could be. Go get some vehicles, sign up for a Medicaid broker, do as you're told, told let the toll booth operator regulate you, keep it simple, reduce your frustrations, you'll make slim margins, but you'll get enough just to squeak by. But if you have a self-awareness where you know that you have much more, uh, you are creative, you want to pursue that passion, you want to build more, if you go back to that first email uh, I read, you know, these guys, they, here it is, they're doing well with their NEMT business, they deployed a creative strategy to further uh, multiply their business, especially during this pandemic, which is absolutely phenomenal, I love it, but now they're in a position I need more. They want to pursue more. So they're going to become a, uh, they're starting a broker business. They're going to become a licensee of youarethebroker.com. Phenomenal. Absolutely love it. But Joel, I just want to be the best driver. Go go drive for Uber and Lyft. Joel, I want to be the best NMT provider. Do it. Get Go go wreck your car and just drive for logistic care. Just get your trips, whatever they give you. But if you want more, you want creativity, and, and I'm going to go back to this third video uh, email where he talks specifically about that liability video and again our response to that has been phenomenal and I love it. I'm going to show you and here's a classic example. I'm going to show you right now and I keep things in perspective and I'm I, you know what Shardy and Sam I'm going to pick on you again. At our Orlando event we talked about some of this stuff and at the end of the day you could say whatever you want. Say whatever you want but I have made more money in the last three years and I'm going to prove it right now. I'm going to prove it right now. Let's, let's start by this. Right now, as of right now, let's look at right here. This is exactly what the markets are doing right now as of right, as of right now I'm showing this video. This is, this is the, the markets. Here it is. Now keep things in perspective. You got 
we were at 29, the Dow was at 29,000 when we self-imposed our nonsensical response to this uh, China virus and we, we shut things down. A stupid response, but we did it anyways. We were at 29,000. We're already up over 26. NASDAQ hitting all-time highs. Half the country is still shut down. Half the country is still shut down. You still got all those, the knee benders out there, all the stupid looters and rioters burning, crapping where they eat. You got a lot of blue states and blue governors just doing their blue. Blue is doing blue, baby. Love it. Keep doing blue. You have an economy that isn't even operating at full capacity, and we're hitting all-time highs, and I'm going to show you my account here in a second. When you, and, and again, now think about this. This is phenomenal. Two things I'm going to mention real quick. Phenomenal. This is phenomenal if you don't understand. When the economy is raging and roaring as well as it is now, you don't see 0% interest rates. You never do. Go back historically and look. Now, I could write a doctoral dissertation on the reasons why, but all I'm saying is this. Here's what I'm going to boil it down to. That's the difference when you have a businessman, when you have sound, effective leadership, and you have a businessman making decisions versus a community activist, a community uh, agitator. Uh, that is clearly the difference. That's the magic wand right there. That is the difference. Joel, I don't like your politics. That's cool. Unsubscribe. Joel, I'm a professional knee bender. That's cool. Unsubscribe. Joel, I'm a snowflake. I get that. I understand. You got to go. I understand that. Not all relationships are made to last forever. So even though I've never known you, we had some type of relationship because you were watching my videos, but it's unfortunate. It's time for this relationship to end. I understand you got to go. But for those of you who are still watching, I'm literally going to demonstrate again. Here it is. This is these are what the markets are doing right now. Now, when I say that I have made more money in the last three years, I'm going to demonstrate. Here now, take a look at this. This is actually one of my accounts. This is just one of obviously many accounts. Now, there's a couple things. Now, this is an account that we just started. This is an account that we formed in March on March 7, 2019. Now, look at this one account here. This one account here is making. 38 plus percent 38 plus percent so joel i don't understand how is it that you get rich how could you possibly say you've made more money in the last three years than you did the previous 17 years combined numbers evidence fact-based difference when you have a businessman at the helm as a leader versus a community organizer who leads knee benders. That's the difference. Joel, you're offending me. Oh, you're still here? I thought you left. That is the single difference. Look at these numbers right here. So in 2020, through all of this pandemic nonsense, I'm still making 37.07% in total of just this one account of just this one account since we opened it since its inception we're at 38 plus percent 38.17 percent joel how can you possibly shardy samuel what i tell you make your decisions on the margin don't don't fall don't be prey don't fall prey don't be played out you getting you getting played you getting played by a narrative i told you turn off that tv you make your decisions on the margin. This is what works. How can you possibly argue you've, you've made more money in the last three years with a raging economy, with a businessman at the helm, than you could for the previous 17 years? Because at the end of the day, as I mentioned to you, Shardy and Samuel and everybody else, at the end of the day, I make my decisions on the margin. And when you look at these numbers, all you can see is I've been making money. And you know what? It's absolutely phenomenal. Joel, I don't appreciate your tone. I don't appreciate this message. You're still here. Mike, then why are you still watching? That's why it's unbelievable when people say, I just want to be a, a good driver. Go drive for Uber and Lyft. Make a little bit of money. I understand that. I get that. You may be retired and you just want to make a little extra money. I get that. There's nothing wrong with that. Joel, I want to be the best NEMT provider I could be. Small potatoes. That's cool. Go. I love, I appreciate it, I applaud it, I work with all of you every day, those of you who are working to build your NEMT the best you could be, I work with people like you every single day, one on one, I love it, but
But my hope is this, and I, I mentioned this and I stressed this in Orlando. My hope, my vision for you is that you are a wealth builder, a wealth generator, and it is not hard. The three of you who sent me these wonderful emails, awesome. Each and every one of you, your business is a stepping stone that you are going to leverage to take that money, take that cash, build it, deploy the strategies that you saw in that liability video. Deploy those, make money with your businesses and then deploy the strategies I outlined in that liability video. When you look at my numbers right here, I mean, clearly, I mean, you can't argue with numbers. You can't argue, but Joel, I'm a knee bender. I want to burn down. I want to loot. I want to rape and pillage the village. Go do it, but you can't have them both. You can't have a foot in both camps. Joel, I don't like your politics. I don't care. I don't like yours either. But this is why politics matter, because politics, as the great Tomiko said in Orlando, I vote my money. Amen, sister. That's right. That's right. You vote your money. And that's why you have such great wisdom, Tomiko, because you understand you vote your money. And that's why you're going to continue to be a big success as you launch your business. Joel, you're absolutely crazy. I know there's some truth to that. Joel, you're insensitive. There's definitely some truth to that. Because I take emotion out of it. I want facts. I want evidence. Can you argue with these numbers right here? This is what the market is doing today. Can you argue with just, just one account? Now just think about this. Think about this. Let's put things in perspective. If you look at these numbers right here, and you could clearly see that I'm making 37 and 38 plus percent on my money. Through all of this nonsense, and when you average it all out, through all of this nonsense, this is the money I'm making on just one account. Think about it. If you, let's say you made 25%. You weren't doing as well as I, I am here. Let's say you had 25%. Let's say you had $100,000 in one of these accounts. That's $25,000. Let's say you had a million. Million. That means you're gonna make $250,000. That's more than most of you take home as the owner of your business. I mean, Put things in perspective. If you, with what I'm making right here, let's say I only had $100,000 in one of these accounts. $100,000 is gonna yield me $38,000. $38,000 for me doing nothing other than leveraging my money over time in a great economy that's run by a businessman. Thirty-eight. That would yield me $38,000 off only, off only $100,000. I suspect that most of your drivers don't even make $38,000 a year. Or if they do, they're in that ballpark. I will make that like this, doing nothing other than leveraging the markets that's there. As you watch that video, that liability video, and you see the big picture, you see the diagrams, you see the roadmap, I encourage you, do not think, this is where the self-awareness is absolutely critical. So a lot of people will, Joel, how do I get started in my transportation business? Hey, have you even read through the website? Have you studied any of the material? Joel, I want to do what you do. I understand that. That's great. Baby steps. That's why the three of you with these emails, phenomenal. You're on the right track. You're going to get there. John, from this last video, I love it. I sense your passion, I sense your enthusiasm, I sense your confusion, but guess what? I'm gonna work with you, and as long as you work hard, which I know you are, you're gonna work hard. I'm gonna help bring clarity, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bear clarity to this situation, and through your hard work, you're gonna make more money, and you are going to deploy the strategy I talk about in the very video, the liability video that you reference here. So, I know I threw a lot at you. Trust me, I could continue to go on and on. I could go off on a tangent. We could talk about why. How is it that through all this chaos, the markets are still doing well and it's 0%. You never see great markets and 0%. Again, that's the difference of having a businessman at the helm versus a community agitator and organizer. Do you remember that one debate or that one the comment of, well, how are you going to do it? You're going to wave a magic wand? There's the magic wand being waved. But 95% of all the sheeple out there, 
95% of all the people out there, all the sheeple, they're never going to understand it. Because to understand it, it requires work. And people don't want to work because you're never going to hear that stuff on, on the lamestream media, the fake news. You're never going to hear that. They're, they're, not, they're not going to teach you that stuff. That is a, a topic, a story for a different day where there's bigger people with bigger agendas and bigger narratives that are just playing all of you like pawns. To learn all this stuff, it requires work, and you can't follow the lamestream fake news media. You can't do it. That's why I tell everybody, shut it off. Shut it off. The best is yet to come. I understand. If you're a knee bender, you don't want to hear that. You're a rioter and a looter. You don't want to. I get all that. If you're one of the socialist Marxists, you don't want to. I get all that. I make no bones about it. I'm a biblical capitalist. I know many of you checked out and unsubscribed. Love you. Maybe our paths will intersect again in the future. Maybe not. It's absolutely irrelevant. But when people ask me, but Joel, Joel, why aren't you begging for business? Bam. But Joel, Joel, I need to talk to you before I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with you. Why won't you answer the phone? Bam. Joel, I just don't understand. Why, why don't you kiss people's butts to do business with them and, and to, to earn their trust in business? Bam. And I want, I want you, I, my goal for you, my vision for you, same thing, is to be able to say, bam. Because when you can say, bam, you are self-empowered. You are self-empowered. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, but Joel, the markets are going to go down. They're, gonna, they're volatile. They're going to dip. I know. I love it. Dip. Continue to dip. Because every time it dips, what do I do? I buy on the cheap. The fat man buys on the cheap. And then when they go back up, guess what? I make more money. Joel, you buy on the dip. You profit when it goes up, bam, bam. Joel, you're, I don't understand. This is all, you're giving me too much evidence here. I Can't you just lift my spirits through emotion? No, no, because I'm much too practical for that. This is all based on evidence. How many years have I been saying? You make your decisions on the margin. I want you to leverage your business, make more money, deploy a great sound strategy, great tactics, make more money, then follow the strategies I outlined in that liability video. So that ultimately, you can say, bam! And when you say, bam, I'll see you at the top.